Hi everybody, it's Carla, and I wanted to get on here and uh, show you what I'm doing. I'm making a dragon. Um, I got this mold from Amazon. This is one of the molds that I got uh, with that video that I did um, about getting it cheap. And, um, you know, as a matter of fact, this, this little hedgehog mold that I did last time, this also was, I found on Amazon, on their limited, um, their limited deals. So I'm going to do this mold and I'm going to uh, do it more for a grown man than like for my inner child. <laughs> so I am going to be using these some different things here. I have the Extreme Holographic Maple. Maple, yes, color by Let's Resin. Um, everything, all the colors here are Let's Resin until we get to, well, I'll tell you whether or not. These first couple are Let's Resin. So I have the maple and I have the copper uh, metallic powder and I have the holographic glitter in black. Um, the one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the wings in the maple and the bronze. I just wanna have like a little bit of difference in there. And then I'm going to be doing the body in that bronze stone like I did the the cute, cute little um, hedgehog. Oh my goodness, came out so cute. It found a new home, but I'll talk to you about that in a minute. Um, yeah, it already found a home. It was <laughs> so darn cute. So I'm just going to have you just, you know, stick around with me for just a little bit while I just color these up. I'm going to um, use a very dark bronzy brown chocolatey look i've never done this so i want to be careful that i'm not like coloring the wrong parts so anyway i hope everybody had a lovely 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 christmas um I went and uh, would saw my daughter and i just matter of fact i drove all day today that's why i just don't feel like uh, even brushing my hair or my teeth right now <laughs> I just don't want to so I don't want to be on the thing right now but um yeah I had a lovely time we had a beautiful again vegetarian meal that anybody would love it was just so good we had tamales we had um quinoa a flavored quinoa that was so good and we had some squash and what else do we have um some colored colored greens and up 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 i forgot what else black beans it was very very good very good and then we had panet uh, panettone oh that italian little bread thing we had that with chocolate chips for our dessert it was very nice it was really nice whoops or am i not oh i'm not getting the right one in here oopsies oopsies <laughs> using the wrong color but that's okay everything was going to be fine uh let's see here yeah i'm doing the these inside in the maple <laughs> i gotta stick my thing on the chart. yeah so we had a very peaceful you know pleasant we did some silly stuff with those what is it TikTok or instagram or whatever that does those funny faces <laughs> We made ourselves into the craziest things. We were laughing so hard. So that was fun. Um, and my grand kitty loved, loved, loved the toy I made her. She just went crazy and loved it. So that was great. And, um, oh, before I forget, uh, the last video that I did, oh, b b before I get squirreled off in the wrong direction here, um, I just realized, let me just tell you what I'm going to start doing now so I don't forget to do that let me just I see some areas here that I probably should give a little extra humph to here yeah because this is going to be a gift so I want it to be I want it to be nice okay so now I'm going to take the and uh, if I don't move that other one the the uh the copper let's resin metallic powder 
love these, love these, love these, love these. And I'm going to hit the higher parts here like this up here. So it's not just all one solid color, you know, have a little depth to it. Okay, so what I wanted to tell you is um, in the last video I did in the Hedgehog one, at the very, very end, um, you know, I was talking about if the holidays got too overwhelming for you to hide in the shower. And I told a story that I realized triggered um, maybe more, you know, if one person says something, that means more than one person could have been triggered by that. And I know exactly why I didn't tell the story well at all. So um, that story of the situation between the two people getting divorced. I'm not going to go through the whole story again. If you want to see it, you know, it's the very end of the hedgehog one. But um, yeah, my aunt and her husband were getting a divorce. There was no um, abuse involved. There was not any like physical beat. He didn't beat her, nothing like that. It was just one of those things that you know, sometimes couples do when they get divorced. Like, remember War of the Roses, that movie? That's very close to reality. How some people react and then just uh, hate each other. So um, I want to apologize for that because my only intention on this channel with all my heart is to just um, give everybody. I, I want it to be really positive. I don't want it to be... Like negative and I'm so sorry that I didn't that I told that story without thinking because I'm well aware of what it is to be um, in, an, in an abusive relationship and I would not have laughed so I I do apologize completely to anybody that could have thought for a minute that I was laughing at a domestic abuse situation um, no been there been there been through all the counseling you know for it and everything so no um it was just uh, the way my family is it was just another story of insanity um <laughs> that i don't think a lot of people have in their family i guess i thought it was normal <laughs> but i don't think so so i would never laugh ever and um so i'm gonna stop because i think i just need to say i just want my channel to be love i want everybody to um feel safe here and and even I, I i don't know how to even say it i'm done doing this part so i should stop i just want everybody to feel safe and know that all i want is this to be a positive experience for everybody okay that's what i wanted to say i'm very very sorry i'm so sorry and uh yeah that's that's all we need to say <laughs> okay uh i got lots of well i hate to turn this over <laughs> like just dump this over on this because every time i do that then the bottom of my molds get all kinds of stuff on them. So let me just take a piece of my paper here. Because, yeah, I always, every time I turn them over and I pat them out, then I get, when I put them back, then it's always full. Of, and the bottom is, like, colored. <clears throat> let me just move that out of the way. Let me grab my little towel here real quick. Okay, so um, as soon as I clear this out, I'll tell you about the hedge. Uh, let me get this. Well, this you, you see what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm cleaning out the uh, over drift. Drift is a good word. The powder, when you put it down, it just drifts around and clings onto the mold because the mold has static cling. Somebody said if you use a dry, you know, I just thought of that right now. If you use a, a dryer cloth on them, they don't have that static. I don't have dryer cloths because I don't have that kind of a laundry situation here. <coughs> excuse, excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. Mm. I'm very tired. I, 
Ooh, tired and I'm kind of kind of just in pain tonight from sitting in the car for a while. Oh, barely walk. Oh, this is crazy, crazy, crazy what happens to your body when you get older. But I know it's uh, because I don't take good enough care of it and all the little things going on with it. So I have to, and I'm not going to make a New Year's resolution. A resolution. <laughs> I'm going to make a New Year's resolution. I'm not going to make a res res resolution. <sighs> I knew I'd get it out. I'm not going to make a resolution because that's too much pressure. I just have to, have to, have to start taking better care of myself before I end up in a wheelchair which people survive in wheelchairs just fine, but there's no reason for me to be in a wheelchair, except for that uh, I need to, you know, watch my diet, watch the weight on my hips and legs and my back. <laughs> you know, I, I need to keep going to my doctors and kind of take some of this into my own hands, like, Losing some weight, making sure I get a little bit of exercise. Even if I have to use a walker, at least I need to get exercise. So. Oh, I'm tired right now. But I want to do this. Because one thing I miss you guys. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the... Uh, what I did with the, the hedgehog was I took a little bit of the white calcedony. Wait, let me... um. Make sure this brush is cleaned off. It's going to take a little bit and put a little bit on this. Just, just in a, not everywhere. It doesn't have to be like, um, blah, 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 like, you know, equal distances or anything. This is all just going to be... Oh, I just realized he has some... Uh, what are those things called? Ridges on his back? <laughs> Spines? I don't know what they're called. Hmm. Well, anyway, he's these things. These little shark-looking teeth things. So I put a little bit there. A little bit here, maybe. So then I'm going to take my little orange rag i get these like in a big piece and then i cut them into little pieces for this kind of stuff and i'm just gonna wipe that along the top and not take it all off just take uh i want some to be left like highlights in the in the crevices there that's what i want to do so i'm gonna put that one away well i'm gonna close it because i'm gonna need it for that's not the right lid I'm going to need this when I mix together the, oh, this one's the May Springs white, see, see that CH, Chalcedony, this is May Springs Chalcedony, the color that I'm going to do the center of the dragon and probably just the whole thing once I get the dragon ready, is the May Springs bronze stone. Mwah! Beautiful color. Gia mama. So then um, I also want to take, what was I going to put the black on? I think I need a smaller brush. I do need a smaller brush. I don't think I do. I do. I do. I do. Oh, I need to clean my brushes. All my little makeup brushes are getting kind of monkey. Mud, mud. I just make up my own language, folks. Ooh, that was a pretty color that was on there before. Wow. I'm going to use a little bit of this black glitter. Maybe I'll use the black glitter on the uh, the little sharky teeth. It's okay if it goes in a little bit, um, but I think I'll try to like keep it up here. When you're doing this, if you want to be, try not to get it to go everywhere, just kind of tap, and then you know you can kind of hold the mold too so that it's going... Uh, like, it won't go onto the clear part if... Now, I'm having a real hard time seeing what I'm doing on that one. Hmm. 
Okay, so yeah, this is the Holographic Glitter by Let's Resin, and this is a black color. I love the Holographic Resin. Resin? Glitter. <laughs> Ooh, someday they'll probably be Holographic Resin. That'd be neat. I don't remember if uh, Holographic Colors, if you can pour, put them in resin and then they come out like that. I don't remember... Okay, well, how am I going to do this one? I guess I'll turn it this way. This is uh, for my son. I don't think he's. I don't think he watches very much. He does sometimes. He used, sometimes is the first person to see. But I don't know. With Christmas and them being back uh, in Carolina, I don't know if they're coming home soon or, or what's going on. But I think they had fun. There's a lot of little kids there, so it's probably more fun for them than hanging out with the old folk. Me. <laughs> Even though I'm a little kid. <laughs> or at least I have one hiding in here somewhere. Refuses to leave. Okay. All right, I think... Uh, oh, I probably need to do a little bit up here. Really can't tell. And maybe this horn thing too. All right. Yeah, I get the horn things. So black glitter. They're going to be basically brown though, because I'm going to use that dark brown. So I will real quick. Oh, I don't want to get a cramp in my hand. Oh, this is still damp. Okay, so let me just go through here. And again, it's okay if a little bit gets left on there. Uh, oh, I was trying to wipe it out where I want it to be. Because you just get like little variations of shadow, especially with such a dark um, brown color. It's it actually looks like bronze. That little uh, oh that cute little hedgehog Howie, oh he's so cute. That was what I used on him. So okay, so yeah, this is really hard to read, but it's holographic uh, glitter, very fine glitter. Love that stuff, and the. Intense Chameleon Powder in Maple. Okay. So, the one thing I have to do now that I did to Howie, which is the little hedgehog that I made, uh, that I think really added to, to him, was I had sprinkled glitter all through the whole thing. I had brushed it on inside. Come on, I know I'm running out, but... You've got enough. It's not going to show up through the gold. But, um, yeah. And I need to do that, too. I need to make another Howie. Because, yeah, he found a very a home where he is very loved. Oh, my goodness. Um, let me uh, give that a... That's a lot. Should maybe... Ooh, choo, 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 choo. Okay, so I am going to mix up my resin and then come back. But first, I want to show you the newest hedgehog that I made. I had made this for a um, kind of a, my daughter and I were not going to exchange gifts at all. And then um, I couldn't help it. I made this with the oh, oh, I just painted the bottom of it. <laughs> I was going to show you that this was made with the polyurethane resin that um, Don had given me. And then I had painted this in stripes with the different holographic glitters from Let's Resin. Oh, is this cute? But when I got to my daughter's place and I was there, I realized that she is not this little girl anymore. Because her apartment is classic boho, beautiful, very upper, upper end. And uh, little Howie... He looked so beautiful because he looks like he's made out of metal. And he looked so beautiful sitting on her coffee table with the candle. And then I just, I just told her, you know what? You take Howie and I'll, I'll this is Lily. Oh, I keep touching her belly because I wanted to have gold on the bottom. But yeah, this is Lily. Isn't she cute? It's like the cutest mold ever. And it's usually $12. And uh, I have the link below where Amazon, this is... Um, at least for a couple of days ago, it was half price. It was $5.95 or $6. So 
so worth it. It's one of the cutest molds. I absolutely adore this. I got this the same way. They don't have this anymore. This one now is like $7.99. Um, it's not on the half price. Because they when they have overstock, they do that. Okay, so I'm going to let you guys go. And I'm going to make myself some resin. And I'll come back and we'll pour it. Okay? I'll be back. All right, I'm back. I got the resin mixed. I mixed two cups, 16 ounces. I know that seems like a lot, and it is. But uh, I just want to make sure I have enough to do this dragon right now. So it'll be done tomorrow. And also, if I have enough left, I want to make another Howie, a Howie Jr. So I brought you back so you can see me mix the colors. And then uh, as soon as I mix these and pour these, I'll let you go. I'm going to pour... Um, the dragon and then I'll let you go and then if I make something else I'll show you in the demold. So there's about four five ounces in this cup and I'm gonna put in a scoop of the brown. I'm gonna make this one a little bit on the darker side I think so I'm gonna make two different colors of brown if I if I need it though, that's the problem if I, I'm not sure I'm gonna need it I also am going to put some uh, diamond dust in here. And I'm going to put about, I don't know, that's a teaspoon maybe. Maybe I'll just, just a pinch back, just put a pinch back in. I'm also going to put in, I haven't used this yet. I'm so excited. The rainbow, I probably am wasting it, though, putting it into the brown. No, I'm not going to put it in the brown. Um, so let me get a little stick here. Give that a stir. See where we are. Ooh, with our chocolate color. Ooh -hoo. All right. All right, so I got to get that stirred in. Ooh, he yeah. I'm going to end up painting in details probably with the acrylic markers that I received with my more than generous gift from Dawn. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Those are so much fun. I have been playing with everything. I go to sleep like thinking about oh, I have all those colors now and what am I going to make and how am I going to make it? And what am I going to do? I want to make a, there's so many things I have planned I want to do, but I want to do a pyramid because I've never done like a big one. Um, oh, and I just go to sleep thinking about like, well, what colors, what, what glitters, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> I just go a little crazy. So, um, I don't like I said, I am not sure. I guess I'll start in the wings. Oh, let me make this. I have more, more space. I'll start in the wings with this color. I hope it's mixed up enough. It doesn't, it's, it, I'm not going to say it doesn't matter. It matters if it's mixed up or not mixed up. In the wings, I think... We're okay because the wings have that um, extreme chameleon powder and also the metallic powders. So we'll just start in here and it's okay if it goes over into the other side. Um, Cause this is kind of the same as like doing it in black, like doing it in this dark brown. It might not be exactly the same for the holographic look. So, so some of that's going to run in there and that's just fine. As a matter of fact, let me just give you a little hand there. I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to need this much more. So let me. Just add some to this. Why did I do it like that? What a dork. <laughs> I'm building a wall. I'm moving the bricks from one side to the other. <laughs> My goodness gracious, Carla. 
All right, so I'm going to have to add some more color to this. And what I want to add to this is some of the white uh, Chalcedony, which is actually more like a gold than a white. Um, and, but I want this to have like two different colors. And I think the last time I did the hedgehog, I added a little bit of the white mica to it also. So I'm going to just do a few little pat-pats on there. Get you guys out of the way so I don't spill you. Now I'm going to get this stirred up. Yeah, because I want this to be a little bit lighter. Oh, but I know why I did that. Because I wanted... Okay, I know what to do. I wanted the dark and the light in the dragon, but um, I know what to do. I will just pull some of this over here. Pull some of this, pull some of this. Maybe. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. I mean, I did think about it, but I didn't. Oh, uh, huh? did not compute, did not compute. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Just do what I do. Don't do what I say. <laughs> Wait a minute. Or the other way around. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's the other way around. That's the... Okay. <laughs> Let me pour some of the lighter color in here now. And catch uh, what I can. That's not the dark color. And I know I'm going over it and everything else. It doesn't make that much difference. Um, I'm going to just wipe it down. Am I going to need more resin? I might need more. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe yes, maybe no. I can't tell. Maybe a little bit more. That's okay. Let's just do that. Let's just put a little more in there. Not dilly dally around. Oh, I got that one dirty. Okay. Put some more brown in there. Just because I don't want it to. Uh, There's a lot of brown that I put in there. And I think. Yeah, why not? I don't know why. I don't know if this will make any difference, but I'm going to put some of the black Walmart glitter, the onyx color. It's ultra fine, extra fine. And I'm going to put some of that in here. Oh, I got to be careful. Remember, I got to remember, he's a full-grown man. He does not want uh, a glittery dinosaur. Neither do I. A glittery dragon. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. Uh, kind of got to get this poured so I can get off my hiney. My hiney is my hips, not my hiney. My hips hurt from sitting and driving a little bit. Oh, am I going to need more, more? No, no, no more, more. Come on. Come on. Yeah, 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 come on. Here we go. Okay, yeah, here we go. Yep. All right. Okie dokie. I think we got it. After I uh, get off right here um, and we're letting this cure, I'm going to get my level and make sure that this is level. It just gets, it looks like maybe the, I, mean, I don't know if it's my glasses or what, it looks like it's swooping down a little bit, like it, like it might not be completely level. So that's strange because it should be. I will do this for right now. Um, oh, I'm going to put this in the back. Well, I think I'll wait. I need a way for him to be able to hang this. So I've got the, I don't know. I'll tell you when, I, when we get there. You'll see when we get back if I get it to work. But for now, 
I am going to, just to be on the safe side, oh yeah, because it looks like that's going to tilt, like it's going to pour out of there. Holy moly. No, 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 you cannot do that. I'm just not under there. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, it looked like it was making a run for it. Okay. So I'm going to give it, hit it with the zapper, uh, the, you know, heat gun. Um, my embossing gun and then I'm going to use the rest of this resin to make something else but I'll show you that after so I'll let you guys go now and um well I'm not go you're not you're not going anywhere because literally I'll be back in a few seconds <laughs> in your world okay I'll see you as soon as this is ready to unmold okay bye I'll be right back one two Hi everybody. Okay, we're back. And this is dry, so kind of like I'm over here. But ignore, ignore the lady behind the camera. Just ignore me. Okay, so let's just go for it. Let's just un unmold this one. I am really like hiding down here. <laughs> let's just do it. Unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, it's, it's kind of just like, I guess, the mood I'm in. Everything is going to be kind of like brown, but more metallic, more like uh, bronze. That's the color I used was the bronze and some gold. And uh, I hope this turned out well. <laughs> you never know. Oh, my goodness. Gotta tell you, I am thankful Christmas is over. <laughs> uh -huh. I am thankful it's over. I still need to deliver some gifts. That's one reason I'm making this. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> oh, I don't want to see it either. I don't. I don't want to see it until you see it. So, I don't want to be surprised, good or bad. <laughs> good or bad, I want to be surprised. All righty, there's a big, there's the baby right there. Let's get off these. It's not a lot of overflow. There's just some little uh, fluffies that kind of, you know, like hang around. It's very soft. Okay, let me move the Mr. Mold out of the way and let's see it. Oh, okay. I think this is very adulty. I am going to color in. So there you go, guys. It's very beautiful, actually. I think my son will be very happy with this um, because it's not childish. And I need my black marker. Let's resin. Thank you, Dawn. Dawn has sent me something else, and I'll show you. As soon as it gets here, I'll, I'll show you. I already know what it is. But, uh, oh, what's going on here? Is this black or did I pull out? I pulled out brown. I'm like, that doesn't look black. It's black. Okay. We put some eyes on this fella here. Yeah, let me put a black eye. Definitely needs a black eye. Get a little more juice coming through there. Really love these pens. If you guys haven't tried these yet, these Let's Resin Acrylic Markers, they're so great. They're so great. They really, really are great. They just have wonderful, wonderful flow. And um, these are the best markers I've ever used with resin. I've got tons of markers that I spent hundreds of dollars on for artwork and stuff. But these for resin, these are like amazing. Okay, so now what do I need to do? Maybe do his tongue. Now this looks... I can always wipe this off if it looks strange. Maybe I should do his tongue in gold. Ew. 
Yeah, I'm looking at the picture. Let's just see. Let's just see. I, oh, okay. I gotta. When you get these, you're supposed to push down on the top, holding it like this. I don't know why. But it works. Whatever, whatever the whatever, whatever it works. Okay, so now then you turn it and you oh you can't see it. And then you turn it, you hold it upside down for a minute. There it goes. And I was always beating them up like bam bam bam. Why aren't you working? Oop! I just sprinkled red. <laughs> Shake them with the lid on. <laughs> All right, I gotta hold it like this. I think you can see, but I gotta hold it so I can see if it's gonna be okay. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. It's all gonna work out. <laughs> Everything is gonna be okay. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, let me get this on here. I guess it should be coming out of his mouth a little bit more. I guess I need to paint his teeth as well. So we'll do that. Okay. So, oh, I got a splatter on there. Yeah, I got splatters everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Splatters. I'm not sure I love this look. I was just, uh, okay, I need, yeah, I'm not sure I like that. I'm not sure I like it. So, I'm going to take it off. Yeah, I don't like the um, acrylic on the metallic. So, I'll use metallic pens, which these are. Oh, these chrome markers. Wow. That's resin again. And also from the Resin Fairy from Dawn. I hope it's okay if I call Dawn, if you're watching, I hope it's okay if I call you my resin fairy because I just, you are my resin fairy. <laughs> you are my resin fairy. Okay. Uh, this is kind of a big end, but let's see, maybe gold. Yeah, I think that's better. I need to turn this around. You know what? I never knew that you could turn the tip around in some of these and have a different size. I had no idea. The Let's Resin markers that I was just using a second ago, it said with three tips, and I could not figure that out. I was like, I see two. I don't see three. So you just push that. I just turned that one around. So now I have a smaller tip. What will they think of next? <laughs> okay, there we go. That's better. Yes, I like that better. It's much more subtle. Much more subtle. But I still think maybe his teeth need to be... Maybe I should do his teeth in silver not acrylic because i need to stay kind of with the metallic i like this i like the way it came out the glitter is a bit green but that's okay probably put too much glitter but eh, well oh well <laughs> that part i can't do anything about unless i just paint the whole thing black This guy looks like he's wearing dentures. 
His teeth are not pointed. Okay, I gotta see what I'm doing here. Cover in those teeth. All right, I think I'll stop there. Yep, I'm just going to let him be simple. I don't know. What do you guys think? Glitter, I went a little cuckoo birds on. But that's okay. A little bit of glitter. And then at least I did the colors in a mature fashion. <laughs> Not like I would do it for myself. <laughs> My son's a lot more mature than I am. Well, I hope he likes this. So that's this one. And let's see what else the other stuff came out like. If you want to, you can stick around and see. I'm going to unmold because I made two cups. <laughs> I made two cups of resin, thinking that this might... Oh, I'm just sending stuff everywhere. What was that? Something just fell on my foot. What is it? I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't take two cups, because with that two cups of resin, I also poured this and this. And these and these so probably one cup eight ounces probably I should weigh it and see because well just because I kind of have an idea to do another one I don't know so I needed to make another um Howie because the original Howie was living in Burbank Yep, that glitter I put in here. Oh, it gives a green little shine, doesn't it? Mm -mm. That's okay. Oh, it's Howie Jr. Hello, Howie Jr. Welcome to the world. Welcome to the world, little, little baby. Oh, the little baby. He's so cute. He's got to have his eyes put in real quick. Here we go. He needs some little, little eyes. Little cutie. Oh, There you go. Welcome. Howie Jr. <laughs> mm -hmm. And let's give your little mouth a little... Smile help. And I'm going to give you a gold nose. Hold on, Hold on Mr. Howie. It makes it so much fun when you have the tools to play like this. <laughs> He's got a really cute very uh, unusual nose. Yes, you do. Okay, what's going on here? Alrighty, there he is. Where's Howie? Howie Jr. Okay. You got a little bit of weird on your on your nose there, didn't you? I'll fix that later. Yeah, little Howie Jr. He's got a little bit too much green going on there from the white glitter. It has a very predominant green. Well, okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's the way it is. Live and learn. Let me take this out because it's easy. It's just a. Bronze butterfly. And I just love this little mold because this little mold, whoops, well, usually they stand up. 
Oh, it's got some little pokies on the bottom there. Okay, well, let's see. Nope, you don't want to stand up? It's standing, but it's going to fall any second. I haven't done this mold before. Um, I was going to do it after Christmas. This is after Christmas. I had so much resin left. I thought, let's just pour it. Let's see what happens. And then I'll see how this mold works. This is a knockoff of um, a really good mold that I have that I did the other little Christmas girl planter with. Um, that's okay. That's all right. Knock off, schmock off. If it works, it works. Um, I think people, I think that China is not really regulated by our, they don't pay any attention to our, um, what do you call it when people own the rights to something or make something and it's theirs? I don't know. I can't remember. I know. I know what you call it. I just can't remember. <laughs> I just can't remember. Let's see. I'll think of it. When you least expect it, the word will pop into my head. I'll go, oh, that's what I was trying to think of. People will look at me like, what? What? <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Oh, she came out cute. Aw, look at this. Little planter. Oh, she's precious. Let me see. <laughs> the little bubbles. Well, I guess the glitter did too, because you know when it's like this, when you pour it, bubbles and the glitter rose to the top. So it gives her like a five o'clock shadow thing going on there. And uh, it's okay. I, I understand. Oh, that was a big bubble, but that's okay. You're not going to notice it. Wow, she's actually really precious. I like her. I wonder if she needs little dark eyelashes. Maybe not. Maybe I shouldn't, but I'm going to just try one. Nope. I think I'm just going to leave her. Because there's just something very pleasing about the, just like a little metallic look. Okay. Yeah. There she is. I have, a, I have another mold like her. I have two more molds like her, so maybe I'll do a series. Do the do one in silver, do one in bronze, and then do another one in gold. So there she is. Let's take her little mold, fix it real quick. Came out really easy too. That was nice. So yeah, everything's brown here except for this. But here's my little snail I did. Still don't know why the snail has two sets of eyes, but. I think maybe it's supposed to be a, a yeah, you know, like a Alice in Wonderland little booger. So we'll put these eyes in, and why not? Let's just do these eyes too. This eye is smaller this time than usual. Maybe just do that too. Okay. It's all done. If I went like this, it might look better. Oh, sorry, if you can't see, it's very hard to hold. It's kind of slippery feeling for some reason. Uh, that just looks messy. And I think I put my finger in his eyebrow. Well... <laughs> my goodness the bad thing is I don't know where my alcohol bottle went I think it fell somewhere but I don't know where so I just use a little water clean that off clean that off where I touched it well actually that's kind of like antiquing isn't it it's fine that's good it's a good Oh, nope, it's not okay. It's not okay. <laughs> Big old unibrow there. 
Oh my goodness. I just made a big old mess. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> just a big old giant mess on my hands. Oh. And I don't know where that bottle is. I don't know. I think it just fell. I think I found it, but we're almost done. So let me just hurry up here. Oh, cry many sakes. Yeah. Oops, I got my 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 notes to remember written on my wrist. <laughs> you see, <laughs> I already took care of those, so I can scrape those off of my wrist. <laughs> Okay, here we go. One more thing. You, you back in your holster, baby. Okay. One more. This one I did. I have a new mold. I didn't do the top because I didn't have enough. But I did this. And I used some of the glow-in-the-dark chunky glitter. I don't know if it's going to work like right now because it's not. It's, it's getting darker. <laughs> but I don't know if it needs like sunlight, you know. Oh, it's very thin. I very actually much like that. Ah. Okay, where's the... I should have poured the lid to. Darn it. Because now... It, see, it comes with an... Um, one, two, three, four. A six-sided... I don't know. What is that called? A hexagon? It's not octagon. Octo is eight. I know that. But I want to make sure that it's... Oh, I guess I could just put this one here to keep it hopefully correct. That's cute, though. It's a cute little box. Very, 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 very simple. Very simple. Very... And I don't know. I wonder if it's going to glow in the dark. <laughs> Hold on, folks. I can't tell. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. It's not glowing. But maybe it needs sunlight. So I'll put it... Um... That's very precious, actually. It's very uh, dainty. Very, very thin. Which I really like. And it's not... I actually really like that. I think this little lid on there will be very, very cute. Very cute. Little boop. Little boop. Okay. I love you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. And just remember, be kind to others. Most of all, be kind to yourself. Okay? And I love you so much. So let's, let's just make that our motto to love just love feel it in your heart even people you don't know just when you see them walking towards you think i love you you know i wish we had more than one word for love in the english language because i don't mean like i love you baby i don't mean like that <laughs> that's fun <laughs> don't get me wrong i like that kind of love but i'm talking about love, compassion, and joy, and smile at people. I'm always smiling, and people now especially, I smile a lot, and I've noticed that people see me, and they'll look at me, and they'll smile too, and I'm just smiling because I'm like thinking about, you know, I don't know, just a these people are my relatives that are walking around here in this, in this Walmart or this planet. And uh, we're all related. We're all the same. We all came from the same soup. Uh, yeah, some of us are carrots and some of us are peas. And some of us are meatballs, you know. Um, but it's still just human soup. It's all we are. It's human soup. So it doesn't matter if they have different skin, different color hair, eyes. It does None of that matters. We're still all related. We're all related. We just don't know each other 
And so it, sometimes we have prejudices against other people, but once we get to know them, we're like, oh, they're just part of the soup. So that's my, that's my thing for today. <laughs> You know I love you. Thank you for coming. If it was your first time here, I'm so glad you that you found us. Um, and I hope that you feel comfortable and at home here and join us. You don't have to subscribe if you don't feel like it right now. <laughs> but I'm going to give you some homework. If you watch me all the time and you're not subscribed, maybe... As a New Year's resolution, you'll make a plan to subscribe. <laughs> so I can get to that 1,000. Oh, yeah. And um, by the way, I want to say, hi, Dawn, my little resin fairy. <laughs> I'm going to do a video when I get that box, and I'll show you guys what I, what I got. Okay. Okay, guys. I know I never can hang up, but I'm hanging up right now. Yeah, I just look down. I shouldn't look down because then I start to squirrel and like, oh, did I show? No, 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 no. Save it. I'll save it for another time. I love you guys. Be happy. <laughs>